Good morning. I'm here at Second Swing. I'm Larry Bopka, along with Master Fitter and friend of mine, Danny Farrell, and we're going to talk a little bit about drivers and a little bit about adjustability drivers. Mm, they're not just for decoration down here. They're not just for decorations and, mm. oh boy, you get this wrench. <laughs> oh. But what do I do with it? What do I do? You know, you come in here, you get fit, you walk out the door, you don't play a good round of golf, all of a sudden you grab the wrench and you start playing around with it. <laughs> Is that a good idea or a bad idea? Uh, not the best. Okay. One of the worst sayings out on the golf course is, I'm gonna try something here, Yeah. right? It never yeah. works out. Or hit a, hit a, play a couple bad holes. It is not legal to change your, to change your settings during a round of golf, but I'm sure they happen. But if you're <laughs> playing a practice round and you're playing around a little bit and you hit a few bad drives and all of a sudden you say, but what are you really doing to the driver? Right, uh, right. You know, that, you know, we've Let's got, in. we've got four of the most popular brands here between mm -hmm. Ping, Callaway, Titleist, and TaylorMade, and there's all varying adjustability with these. Uh, Ping were able to adjust loft, face angle, um, lie, mm. and we also have a weight back here to adjust ball flight. So you touched on loft and how that affects face angle. Talk to me a little bit more about that. Like well, if we go up and loft, what happens? Well, what, what I've got here is I've got a nine degree driver. Okay, and, and it's got marked here, they've got, they've got plus, they got little plus, big plus, little minus, uh, big minus. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's for, that's for the loft angle. Okay. But what happens is, is I take this nine degree driver and I put this into the highest setting, which is the big plus, mm -hmm. it's gonna go to 10 and a half degrees, right. but we're also gonna close the face angle. Oh, so somebody that might miss it a little bit right, that could help find a few more fairways. Ab absolutely. Okay. Or, you know, we've get, you get a high-speed player in here that tends to not want to hit it to the left, and we need to lower the launch and the spin a little bit. Mm -hmm. We can also put it in the, the minus settings yep. to help bring that ball flight down, but it does open that driver up. Right. Now, here with the ping, along with the Callaway and the Titleist, there is ball flight adjustments, mm -hmm. okay, where you're not, you don't have to change any of the orientation of the loft okay. or the lie or the face angle, but I can make some changes to, hey, this is set in the neutral. Mm -hmm. I can go to a more fade bias shot, leaving the toe open through impact. Okay. I can put it in the draw bias where it rotates, and, and, and I have had players come in feeling like, well, I, I want it to fade, or I'm hitting it too far left, so they put it in this setting, which is the draw bias. Well, what really happens, Danny, can you hold that wrench for me sure. for a second? The more the center of gravity, the more the weight is towards the shaft, the faster this is gonna close, right. Right. okay? So if I put this weight in draw, it's actually gonna wanna do this faster. Yeah. If I put it in the fade setting, it's gonna wanna stay open. Pin can go from standard to slightly flat lying. Yeah. Okay. Callaway, we've got all those adjustments as far as the face angle, the loft. Mm -hmm. We also have the ball flight adjustment, yep. but as, as they go more into the draw setting, right. the club gets more upright. Right. Well, once again, more upright golf club, that face is gonna wanna go this way. Mm -hmm. So if you're, if you're, if you're hitting the ball right, you know, it might simply be because it's the golf club's too upright. You know, Titleist, which I know very well, because oh I, yeah. I, was, I was at the, uh, the inception of their hosel configuration, which uh, the first one I think I got years ago had 32 different settings. Oh my <laughs> Lord. We can independently change the loft, Mm -hmm. can independently change the lie angle, okay. okay? And then, as like we said, we can independently change the ball flight. Right. So out of all the manufacturers, Titleist has the most adjustability, right. and I think we all, a lot of times, um, it, it, it's kind of a go-to driver to see, no doubt, really yeah. see where somebody is and kind of dial it in. You know, all these drivers work great, mm -hmm. but 
you know, everybody says, well, which is the best out of these? Well, the one you hit the best, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Um, you know, TaylorMade, TaylorMade um, had a lot of adjustability. If you remember the slider, I mean, you yeah, used to have weights. You, one of the favorites. In the, yeah, and the M1s and the M3s. I mean, they had weights going this way and they had weights going that way. Yeah. Well, their engineers have basically said, hey, we're going to put a bunch of weight back here in this area. Okay to kind of help keep the face open and then the only adjustment we're going to make is loft and face angle. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but well. TaylorMade can't go flat like Peng and Titleist can. For players that make swing changes, right, that especially coming up on a winter time, we're in yeah. here grinding. You know, there are adjustments to keep the same driver in the bag. Just because you make a swing change, you might not need to change the driver. Right. Just get a quick tune up on a setting, but that's what we're here for. Yeah, correct. And, and, and remember, it's just, there's a lot of adjustability, but understanding it, mm -hmm. you know, I can remember back in the day, Danny. Um, oh boy. And, you know, some of us are old enough that we actually fit persimmon woods and steel shafts on tour back in the <laughs> 80s. You know, guys would be on the range bending the shaft over their knee make taking loft off putting loft <laughs> on bending it you know they would they would make minor adjustments that way you know so there's been adjustability or you know we've talked in the past about putting lead tape on yeah, your golf club yeah. putting lead tape on the toe to keep the face or open hot melt is pre is a hot one right now yeah hot right. melt you can change it you know a uh, lot of tour drivers at titleist there would be hot melt put in different situations yeah. for different players depending on their ball flight. Yep. But when it comes to adjustability, we have the most adjustment. You know, part of the reason this all came about was, you know, back when the 975D and the 975J was there, Don't I'd be out on tour and, you know, Davis Love would say, hey, could you take about a half a degree of loft off that? Well, we were actually bending titanium. <laughs> It's not a good way to make a living bending titanium. You would heat, we'd heat up the hosel, and we would try to bend it. Sometimes they would survive. A lot of times <laughs> they would not. And there's nothing worse than walking out on the, at a tour event to a player going, "Hey, we'll have your new driver built in about 30 minutes." Uh, so that's kind of where adjustability came from because titanium is not an easy material to bend. Right. Um, the old tailor-made burner woods mm. and the, the, the stainless steel would lend themselves to being bent a lot easier. Okay. So the adjustability really came from that. But it also came from fitting to where we can, we can adjust all these, yeah. these parameters. Plus, if, if I'm a, even a, a regular player, hey, I've got a really head, good head that I like, I like, but I want to try some different shafts. I mean, you can come in here and try some different shafts in a fitting Absolutely. in the head that you know that you like. Yeah. So we're only, you know, you're only changing one variable. Right. You're changing the golf shaft, you're not changing the head also. Yeah. So there, there's a tremendous upside to adjustability in golf clubs. Mm -hmm. We can help you with the adjustability on your golf club. Come see us, you know, you don't have to worry about, hey, do I really need to do, maybe you just need an adjustment. Right. And if you're struggling with it, Geez, don't struggle with your golf clubs. I mean, golf's hard enough, <laughs> right. you know? Nobody wants to stand out there and stay, you know, every time I hit a drive, you know, 10 out of my 14 drives go in the right trees or go in the left bunkers, Right. you know? There, there's, there's fixes for it. Come yeah. see us, especially over the winter time. Perfect time to come, Yes. you know, tune up your equipment, get yourself ready, but also ask the questions of your fitter that, hey, what, it, what really happens if I walk out here and I'm happy with the numbers I see today, mm -hmm. if I adjust this, what's it gonna happen? Right. Your second swing fitter can give you that information yeah. so that when you are out there, uh, you know, and that's where email and text messages yes. work too. Yes, yes, Trust yes. me, I've had people text message me from the golf course going, hey, if I take this down to mine, if I take this down to little minus on my ping, what's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you, <laughs> right. you know. So um, that's all I've got. Same, same here. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time.